No, Aiden, you stay on this side. Thanks for talking. Uh -huh, sure. Yeah, I've got Stephanie hooked up with some people that, that maybe can make a, a big difference for y'all. Do okay. you know Ken Paxton? Uh, you heard who Ken Paxton is? is it, he's a young, kind of younger gentleman. Actually, he's our Attorney State General. Oh, okay. He's Texas Attorney State General, and okay. he's a strong Christian. He's from this area. Yeah. And um, so he's a very important person to talk uh -huh. to. And then have you heard of Real Options for Women? Uh, I think so, it's yeah. It's a local organization that mm -hmm. actually um, does sonograms for young women that are about to go have an abortion and they get them to come and they'll do their sonogram for right. them and they will um, help support them in any way possible to not have an abortion. Right. So we've got those, that, those two organizations and then there's Kelly Shackelford mm -hmm. who is with Liberty Institute and Kelly Shackelford is an attorney and uh -huh. he fights for Christians rights uh -huh. it, at the federal level at the tech every, every all over this country whenever they're trying to take down a cross right he is awesome. there defending yeah and not just him alone but his the whole team, yeah. team. Yeah. so there's a lot of people that y'all really need to talk to that have a whole lot more influence than standing on a corner yeah and just making people mad that you you think we're not yeah you know pro-choice because yeah. we are well no i don't think you're pro-choice at all see the the pro-life movement all it's done for like 43 years is regulate abortion it says when where and how you can murder babies that's the only thing it's ever done there's only ever been one bill ever put forth in texas to make abortion illegal and that was hb 948 and that was just recently and the right to life texas right to life and the the right to life uh senators here um, except for 10 of them. Uh, Timberhold, I think it is, was the one that put forth the bill and it got tabled and they wouldn't even vote on it. And um, this Swindoll, this church, all these churches in Texas, none of them said, hey, we need to push this bill through. They all knew about it. They don't want to do anything about it because they're a 501c3. They're not allowed to speak with their lips what politically they should and shouldn't vote for, you know? So the bill sat there until it session ended and then it died. So, yeah. which is a shame. It was the only bill ever to make it illegal. And, Did and proof. To Ken, Ken, well, I've got to go. My husband's okay. waiting for me. Um, well, just one more thing real quick. In Texas, there's 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted in foster care system. There's like 30,000 kids in foster care. But there's 13,000 kids. I don't know. Thank you. Um, that are waiting to be adopted. They're totally able to be adopted, but nobody wants them because they're not babies, all right? So there's 30,000 Christian evangelical churches in Texas that could take them, right? There's over 70,000 pastors in Texas, all right? But so it's not that you guys aren't pro-life, you are pro-life. What we're saying is, is, as a community, as men and women in the community, we need to act Christian. These kids should be adopted like that. There should be no issue. Well, that's different than No, it's the same issue. It's up. No, it's the same issue because what happens is No, it's the same issue. It's the same issue because they're children. Like you could tell how godly a society is based on how they treat the least of these. How we treat the fatherless and the widows. And we don't treat them like I mean, this is a filthy, filthy rich community. All right? Well, I agree. And we don't take care of kids. We don't adopt the kids that need to be taken care of. What we do is we do pro-lifey things. And when it comes to actually making abortion illegal, our churches don't want to do it. Our pastors don't want to do it. Our society doesn't want it. I'm talking about the Christendom society. I'm not talking about pro-choice, evil, wicked people. I'm talking about people that praise God with their lips, but their hearts are far from God. God says like in Amos 5, that I don't want to hear your praises i don't want to hear your prayers i don't want to hear richer your um your preaching I, I hate your festivals and you know why he was saying that in amos 5 is because child sacrifice was in the land and so what he says is bring justice and mercy 
and then I'll accept your worship. But bring justice and mercy to the land first. So we spend all our time, 50 something million dollars to build this building while child sacrifice okay, goes into, unopposed. You're, you're, you're it, never unopposed. Going completely well, what I'm saying is our hearts are far from God. They're into being religious. Okay. Okay. They're into being religious. Proof is in the land. Proof is the orphans. 